All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gavin and Nicole. Here we are. I'm Gavin. I'm Nicole. Those are our names. This is the two, two choices. <laughs> the choices. <laughs> just real fast, before we get into these spicy videos for you, I just want to say I have another channel called Videoverse, where me and my buddy play video game buddies. My, we, I, got, I got a couple friends. We play video games every once in a while. You should go check them out. Link in the description. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, guys, we have some very spicy videos, very intriguing. Get your glass of milk out because these are too spicy. <laughs> mm. I want to start off um, with showing y'all just some um, just some cancer. So on Twitter, found this post right here by this dude named Anthony. He said, I usually don't do this, but I feel like this is appropriate to post since this person is claiming to be a vegan, even though she's admitting to buying non vegan ice cream for <gasps> somebody else? For someone else? Here's her original Twitter post. Uh, she says this, pulled up to my driveway to find a little girl crying. She didn't have money for the ice cream van like her friends did, so I gave her enough money to get herself a nice big ice cream with sauce, sprinkles, and a flake. She was so happy and soon had ice cream around her mouth. Doing the Lord's work right here. <laughs> I don't see any issue with this. Apparently this, this lady is uh, a vegan and she, we have vegan friends. Yeah, we, we got, love vegans. Yeah. He DMs her and says, Hi, I'm just sending this to ask if the ice cream van was selling vegan ice cream, which would be surprising. I guess so. I, <laughs> Has I guess there ever that, been a vegan I guess that would be surprising. Uh, wanting to help others is, of course, great, but we should, of course, be helping them without basically harming and killing non-human babies, which buying non-vegan ice cream basically does. Because apparently, <laughs> you know, giving, giving this little girl money to buy the non-vegan ice cream. It's basically just it's ba murdering Yeah, you're basically just killing- Animals. You're killing that animal. Her response is, I bought a kid an ice cream. It isn't that deep, fam. Amen. I mean, Couldn't it, have said it better myself. Yeah, I mean, just- <laughs> God, what? Just bought ice cream. <laughs> I don't wanna like cuss in the videos, but this makes me wanna cuss a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be family friendly. His response back to that, it is that deep. If the ice cream was non-vegan, which is obviously uh, he messed up this. <laughs> uh, it obviously is that deep to any uh, actual vegan and a severe mistake. Enable the child to have ice cream. How that is you? a severe How mistake. Dare. He's like, dude, I'm vegan. My mom's vegan. My boyfriend's vegan. I'm not about to push the message into cr a crying child. Yeah. Lighten the, the frig up, kiddos. It's just. It just makes me mad. Like, and why? I don't want to be angry. And then in he, this video. And then he does this. <laughs> he he screenshots her social media, her Instagram profile. Really, I guess he's just trying to highlight the fact that vegan is in her Instagram bio, but come on, dude, you're just, you're just throwing out her other account yeah, like that? That's, like, that's kind of messed up. <sighs> let's go ahead and just look at this dude's profile. Obviously, this dude has been getting a little bit of criticism for what he's doing, which uh, the world is probably weird. rightfully so, yeah, so. No, absolutely yeah. rightly so. I really want to ask, our vegan friends, what they think about yeah. this. I think we know, but. Yeah. She helped a child, get it? Friggin' life. <laughs> and then he goes, she helped a child at the expense of a non-human baby's life. And then calls calls him a, an illiterate moron. Because obviously the life of a non-human is more important than the joy and happiness of the youth that grow up the youths. The youth. <laughs> On to our next story. First, let's go ahead and just look at the definition of a black hole. Most people know what black holes were. The late, mm -hmm. great Stephen Hawking did nothing but study black holes. He did nothing else. <laughs> black holes have been around for a very, very long time. There's no doubting about that. And since they were discovered, they were called black holes. That's just what they are. There should be no other debate about that. It's just a black hole. If you look up on Google what a black hole is, here's the immediate definition. A black hole is a region of space having a gravitational field so intense that no matter or radiation can escape. It's it's not you, just used in the- You can't find your keys and you're like, oh, they went into a black hole. Right, I yeah. I don't know where they you are. Know, it's not just a scientific thing. It can be used for many other metaphors as well. Mm -hmm. There's some people who don't understand that though. And today, we're going to take a look at just one of those people. <laughs> it sounds like central collection has become a black hole. 
Excuse me. 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 Excuse me.
never use the name of an animal as an insult for a human. Animals are innocent, don't be speciesist. Never use the name of an animal as an insult for a human.